Picture two deer standing close to each other, staring at the audience with their soft eyes, or goblin alchemist in a world of colorful mushrooms. Upon seeing these works at Chambers Fine Art, you may feel like that you are entering an imagined land from a European fairy tale. The artist who created these outlandish things is Gama. Born in Inner Mongolia in 1977 and currently living and working in Berlin, Gama was fascinated by the myths of Eastern supernatural powers and painted a series of works depicting his own interpretations of them. When I went to Germany in the 70s, I saw that the German people liked to display deer heads in their homes. After seeing that, I remembered when I was a child, there was no doctor in Inner Mongolia, but only shamans. If we got sick, we had to find a shaman for the cure. My great aunt is a famous shaman, and according to what she recalls, every time when she carries the key to go to the supernatural world, she needs to go through a door. But opening the door with her key is not the only step towards travel to the supernatural world. You also need to talk to the gatekeepers. These gatekeepers are deer and goblin, respectively. For my pursuit of combining Eastern and Western culture in the arts, I found that I could adopt Western techniques and aesthetics to narrate Chinese story. Because the deer is universally known for its divinity, when people see my work at the first sight, they may feel the works are painted by a Western artist. But after I share my own experience and inspiration that comes from my great aunt's story, they will understand the meanings behind my works are Eastern. Looking at Gama's paintings, you will notice a juxtaposition of spaces. Above the beautiful mountain and grassland scene, there is a lamp hanging down, which affects audiences' spatial awareness and twisting the linear narration. Gama said the merging outer space and inner space is a distinct aspect of his style. I think my obsession with overlapping time and space comes from Eastern culture as well, and the relationship between two narrative spaces are kind of like a human being's transmigration. People always ask me why I like drawing mushrooms. The mushroom is neither plant nor flower. It's such a strange creature. It has a long body hidden under the ground, with several body parts sprouting out above the ground. The way it grows parallels human beings' transmigration, this life is dead, but the whole spirit won't be, and the energy will be transported to another portal and burst out in the afterlife. Gama's paintings are thick with paint. When viewed from the side of the canvas, you can even feel the layers of the paints applied onto the canvas, giving the impression that the paintings are becoming three-dimensional and could walk off the frame. When asked about how he developed the style of paving thick paints on canvas, Gama said the style was generated after figuring out the truth of painting. Painting is placing paints on the canvas. So I always lay down paints on the canvas, layer by layer. When viewing my works, you can see the progression of how a piece is made. The same philosophy is applied to my sculptures. I accumulated paints over the years and gradually formed them into the shape of a mushroom. For more information from Sanovision English Channel, you can find us online at en.sanovision.net. Reporting for Sanovision Journal, I'm Jin Song.